everyone. I'm here today with Annabelle Dimmock, who you'll know as a Ladies European Tour star, uh, one of our best English players. Um, and she's just got back from playing in the Saudi International with Dustin Johnson. And obviously, we've got a whole new year and a whole new schedule to look forward to. So we've got lots to discuss with her today. So yeah, Annabelle, on that note, um, how, was, how was going back to Saudi Arabia? And it was really nice. It was cool going back there and I know what to expect. Um, I know that it's going to be gorgeous sunshine every single day. Um, but no, um, Royal Greens was looking superb. Um, it was amazing. We got to play it sort of a few days before the event. Um, the rough was up a bit more. There was a few different things than when the um, girls were there. I would say just the rough was up a little bit more. That's all I'd say really. But the greens were good and yeah it was really nice to play it the first few days and it was cool going back there and hitting some shots that I may have struggled with in the event and stuff like that but it was really good to play it. Um, and how was playing with DJ world number one was that intimidating oh or fun? <laughs> um, I think I was nervous on the first on the first tee and stuff and but he and his brother, um, AJ, who's his caddy, were like so friendly. Like, and my nerve, like I was literally fine by the time I got to the green, even hit my second shot into the green because they were like so friendly. Um, the whole team was so nice. Like obviously he had a major entourage and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but, um, his manager, his caddy, but they were all super, super nice and literally couldn't have been more complimentary to me and stuff like that. So it was it was really settling and I actually played really well, which was quite cool as well. Great. Um, did you learn anything from watching him play and playing alongside him? Yeah, like he's just, his whole demeanor is so impressive. Like just how calm he is and chilled. But like you think he, like you would think he would relay that into his golf and stuff. But when he steps onto the ball, he is so... Um, I don't know how to explain it, just to the de like last detail, like he'd hit a few wedge shots. I was actually most impressed probably with his short irons and wedge play, like his distance control was just unbelievable. He'd like call it in the air, he'd say it was like a number, he'd be like, oh, that's like a yard short. And every single time it would be like, it was just unbelievable to watch someone so fine tuned. Amazing. Yeah. Um, are there any other male players who you'd like to play with? Probably out there. I watched Bryson on the range a bit, and it was just ridiculous watching him. Hit <laughs> I think I was watching him in that heat as well, hitting drivers for about an hour. I don't think he was hitting his driver very well that week. Um, because I was talking to Justin Rose, and he played with him, and he was like, he hit it off the planet that week, but was just getting up and down from everywhere. So I was like, what? Like that's so weird. <laughs> Taking advantage of like, it's almost like not helping him the long drive. But I went and watched him on the range. And he would hit one that was off the planet, but when he got one straight, it was just ridiculous Like to watch. I think I'd like to play with him, not just to see how far he hit it, but to see the way he plots his way around a golf course. Like a golf course is completely different to him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I was a bit jealous. One of my friends got to play with him in the prime um, and she said it was amazing. She said he was a really nice guy as well, to be fair. Great. Uh, would you, do you think there should be more mixed events like that where I you think the girls get to I think, with them. I think the atmosphere is a lot more fun and it's a lot more interesting. Like I found going and watching how the guys do it, um, go about their business and stuff like that. I find it really interesting. Um, so yeah, I think so. It's it's different. It's nice. It's like fun. It's new. So yeah, hundred percent. Definitely, I agree. Um, and obviously, you played um, a team event last time we were in Saudi. Is that? Are you looking forward to playing more of those this yeah, year? that was really good fun I played with um two of my friends one of them I wasn't that close I didn't know that well at the start of the week but um were really good friends by the end which was really nice um and I also played with one of my best friends um who unfortunately won't be playing in them this year she's um she's actually pregnant now so <laughs> um but yeah so that was really good fun and it was so weird because we never get to play team events obviously the only time we ever do is if you get into Solheim and obviously not that many people play Solheim in their career so it's really cool to play team events they're a completely different it's a, it's a much nicer atmosphere it's very yeah. because obviously there's not as much pressure on just solely you as golf is always just such a singular sport um so yeah they're really good fun and they're in amazing places as well, which I'm so excited about going to. I know, it's so cool, isn't it? 
literally the coolest places. So I'm, I haven't ever played in Singapore or I've never played in New York. Um, so I'm really excited for that as well. And it'll be nice to have one in London as well. I know. Just, yeah. <laughs> I've heard a few rumours about the London one, which I'm not going to say, but I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you say, I think team sports as well, uh, team golf is fun to watch as well. So obviously it's fun for you guys to play, but I think for people at home watching, it's, it's really fun. Sports as well, having more fun, you know, people running up, giving the high fives, obviously not with the COVID stuff now, but still <laughs> having fun on the course, which is really nice to watch, I think. Yeah, like you had your theme songs to walk onto last time, didn't you? Like like that. It was more engaging, I feel, for people maybe sitting at home watching. I think my mum and dad said they watched some of it and it was it was interesting, it was funny to watch, it was a bit different. Yeah. No, yeah, I think I think everybody thought the same, like it was really, really cool. Do you think it will help get more people into golf, hopefully eventually like seeing it can be more fun, it can be more laid back than I really, really hope so. I mean, hopefully the sort of the coverage will be good for them. I'm sure I'm sure it will be because, you know, they're they're pumping so much money into the event, it would be sort of a bit of a shame if the coverage wasn't good enough to sort of showcase us girls and what we can do and hopefully that inspires the younger generation because that's what it's all about getting sort of like my goal as well as well as obviously getting as far as possible in golf if I can is inspiring the younger girls generation to get into golf because we need obviously more participation. Yeah um, definitely as you say the new the new schedule is meant to have double the amount of coverage yeah. to last year which is obviously great because you say if people can watch at home yeah, yeah it's really it's good for do you know what that's good for everything it's good for us own individual sponsors going to our sponsors and saying that it's good for raising awareness for women's golf you know and showing how good we actually are and that's the shame that's the thing when the coverage isn't as good you know you've only got one or two cameras out there you're not they're not showing how good we are i remember yeah. being in Saudi and i i um, I played early in the morning and I got back to sort of to the hotel and turned on the TV and I remember my friend Kelsey on the last day was you know she was having a great round she's having a rip she was like six under after like 15 or something like that and I was sitting there waiting to see and I just never saw her yeah never, I'm sure and that is such a shame and I get it obviously it's a lot of money having lots of cameras and they can't be everywhere at once but it's just a shame that us girls don't get shown in the best light because because of issues like that and it's like a bit of a vicious circle yeah but yeah no hopefully this year we'll see some yeah yeah see a lot more yeah 100 percent. i i 100 percent believe it will um so obviously the new schedule's looking amazing is it is it yeah. better than you expected after obviously um last yeah, year and everything yeah worried that um sponsors might pull out or you know after this whole covid i know financially it would have hit some people quite hard um, but yeah, I can't believe it. I'm basically away the whole second half of you the are. <laughs> Yeah, It's amazing. It is amazing. Like, obviously, it's going to be weird going from not travelling and playing much to then all of a sudden the opposite. But um, yeah, no, I can't wait. Um, did you know about it in advance or the, did you know about this, the Aramco series in advance? Like, did you have to keep it a secret for a long time? Or yeah, I think I didn't know about it for too long. I'd he I've heard sort of through the grapevine, obviously, rumours about being out in Saudi and some of my friends there and that. Um, and obviously, we did the press release out there for it um, just before it got announced. So I did know a bit before, and it was like I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it. It's great, fabulous. Um, and as you say, obviously. The downside is that there's been a big gap like normally you'd have already started playing by now wouldn't you but it's not going to start till may yeah. um do you think do you think that'll have a effect on your game or are you trying I to practice at home going into south africa the first tournament um maybe a little bit of rust um but i just hope that the course is open up soon here you know we've got our next announcement i pray fingers crossed and the thing is when i came out of lockdown the um the first time i was playing 36 holes um, as soon as I'm out, so I'll probably just go back to that because I would have missed golf so much. So I'll probably be tired out by the time the season. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think there will be a bit of rust, yeah. But I think we'll all just be so sort of excited to be out there and and would have missed it so much that we'll just all be buzzing. So definitely, it's gonna be great. 
appreciate being out there, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, probably more so than any other year you'll appreciate. 